But I heard Obamacare passed without a single Republican vote. So why don't you vote to defend it? You work for us. Remember that. We're uh, defunding Obamacare today. Richard Burr, our uh, sort of senator, said that that was the stupidest idea he'd ever heard of to defund it during the the. Um, the CR, the, the continuing resolution, so that all these people wanted to let him know that that's the smartest idea they've ever heard of, and that they're not pleased that that their senator is not representing their views. Um, yeah, and that's I'm, really the actually only legitimate form we have to defund it. Every uh, all of these repeal measures have been symbolic, knowing it's not going to get through the Senate. Yes, they've been junk. Uh, <laughs> it, it's been um, the opiate of the people. So we need real action. We have the House and 40-some senators. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's the law of the land. They don't have to appropriate a dime. If they, you know, the fact that it is policy or law does not matter. They get to decide what gets funded and what doesn't get funded. I'm asking to be a man, be a senator. Yeah. You know, this business, yes, represent the people. If, if he's really against Obamacare and he's done the things that his people say he's done, how come nobody out here knows that? I called his office. I called his office today. I called his office to invite him here. I emailed his office to invite him here and to the, I mean, to the town hall meeting. And um, the senator declined. He did not write, even wish to write a letter. Okay, so he hasn't even given you any response to why he thinks that's a stupid method of approach. No, um, his office spins it. I mean, you know, <laughs> and everybody that's coming out of his office is saying that they're telling, being told a different thing. <laughs> oh, when wow. I called his office. Um, they said that that's not exactly what the senator said, and so forth and so on. So, so we are going to have a talk with the um, staffers of our senator Burr, and here we go. Come on. A new bill is not what we're asking for, but we're asking why they are not supporting um, the Republican House reps who actually can take substantial yeah. measures. Yeah. And he's telling them that's the stupidest idea. That's what I'm saying, and I don't understand that. We wanted to know some information about um, his response when asked about defunding Obamacare. He said he didn't think it was a good idea. Um, and actually a little bit incorrect. Okay. He was asked what is his thought on shutting down the federal government to defund Obamacare and he said that's not a good idea. He is a co-sponsor of Senator Cruz's bill to defund Obamacare and has been I think since the beginning of it, since he introduced that bill. So it's a separate bill from the continuing resolutions effort to remove the appropriations for Obamacare? That is a separate bill by Senator Cruz. There is no, the, the, the continuing resolution is just a plan that Senator Lee and Senator Cruz and a few others have put forward. Mm -hmm. um, something that Senator Burr doesn't support. He doesn't believe we should shut down the federal government to try to defund Obamacare. Because essentially it won't work. His position is in opposition to his party. Senator Burr? Yes. I hope that you will let Senator Burr know that um, the North Carolina Republican Party has passed a resolution directing that all of our North Carolina Republican congressmen vote to defund in the continuing resolutions vote. The um, Republican National Committee, as of this past week, has taken an official stance. They voted unanimously to ask our Republican House reps not to include appropriations delegated to Obamacare in this continuing resolution. So it feels like to a lot of us that uh, Senator Burr's stance is counter to the Republican Party's official stance, the, what the Republican Party has asked of our representatives, and counter to what we the people are asking of him. Okay, well I'll be happy to pass that along to him. But again, I think we can all agree that Senator Burr is against Obamacare, Senator Burr voted against Obamacare, and Senator Burr is a co-sponsor of Ted Cruz's bill to defund Obamacare. That's not going to pass the Senate because it's a new bill. That's clear. Okay, but again, those are the only options we have on the table right now. Well, there's another option, and that's defunding because appropriations come from the House. We can uh, sit here all day long and agree to disagree, but it's not going to work. If the House doesn't propose those appropriations, and the House doesn't vote on a bill coming from the Senate to propose those appropriations, then it's not funded. They can't fund it if the House doesn't propose it. Well, we'll have to see what the House does then. Okay. We would appreciate Senator Burr's support of his fellow Republican congressmen, like Congressman Mark Meadows, um, Senator Cruz, Senator Rand Paul, who are trying to get these things done. 
I don't know what else. I mean, what else can we do? He's not listening to us. So and she and she hung doors hangers for him. Door hangers for him. I mean, oh wow! Just door hangers. Door hangers. Door right hangers. I mean, yeah. days running. Door hangers. And campaign for Burr. <laughs> do you think that you'll campaign for Senator Burr again? No, I will not. He I doesn't seem not. to be listening to us. No, he's not. He's no. not representing us anymore. He doesn't care. No. <laughs> statement he made was not one I agree with. It's not the dumbest Sorry, feel that way. Yeah. Well, I am too, for him. Mm -hmm. I can't support him. I understand. Okay. I mean, we're all on the same side here. We're all agreeing. No, no we're not all on the same side. I mean, I mean we here, don't, here's we don't the thing. Like it at, at the end of the day, you got to understand, this bill was passed. It is law now. No. Elections have consequences. But we're that talking about we funding, to, not it's, new it's, legislation. It's collapsing. I understand. It's collapsing I, I, around and every week. It's getting worse. Sure. When the unions are against it, when he's making continuous exem exemptions, <laughs> it's wrong. I have two chronically ill children. We're at $20,000 in out-of-pocket medical. Our, in, in, uh, our expenses have just increased astronomically. Um, a medication protecting my son's kidneys prior to Obamacare had $131 copay. That copay today is $532, and I'm out here for my children. Even though the law was passed, we have to keep in mind that these people that are passing these laws are temporary, and these laws that they are passing are going to have lifetime effects on little guys like this guy, my children as well. So these laws, that when they say that it's the law of the land, uh-uh, I'm not buying it, because it's temporary. Nobody wanted this to go through in the first place. Why are we so, going to propose the funding for things that we are all against? Why would we then propose funding for it? And why couldn't it have been put into the bill to fund Obamacare. This is the last chance we got to stop this thing. This is the last chance. The House has voted some 40 times. It's useless. It's still there. We still got the president in office. This is the only way we can control it. We got to stop the funding of it. We it's the only it resource we have vaccine. available to us as Republicans who oppose this legislation. The only thing we have right now is to be able to defund. I understand. I'll be happy to pass all your thoughts along to the Senator for Please. you. Please. You know, we were out here a little while ago, and uh, there was a van or um, like an emergency vehicle from the Wake Forest Baptist. I saw. Yeah, right they. Here. Uh, uh huh. The it was like an ambulance vehicle or something, yes, right? Yes. And they were going by honking. I yeah, mean, it didn't seem like they were very yeah. fond of Obamacare. <laughs> Hey, I'm a therapist, and uh, if Obamacare stays in place, then I will leave the field. Yeah, so what's it going to do to your, I mean, like, what kind of well, effects would it have on your practice? Well, my, well, in my opinion, what it's going to do is increase the amount of paperwork and actually less client care. And also, I think that if it goes to a single-payer system, then the government will actually determine the rate of pay. Therefore, if they determine the rate of pay, then the, the ability to make an income will actually be less. Which, therefore, if you have people who can't make as much money, they're not going to go into the field in, in the first place. And if you don't have people going into the field in the first place, then you're going to have a shortage of all kinds of health care workers. And while I was up there, I also shared with them, I'm not very pleased that the staff and the members are getting illegal subsidies by imperial decree from the dear leader. And what did they say to that? Well, they said, yeah, that's, that's not good. And make sure all your congressmen have a two. That's right. And there's stars. You gave it to one of Richard Burr's staffers, that t-shirt? Uh, yes, I gave it to him, and uh, he accepted it reluctantly, but he accepted it. <laughs> Did he have anything to say about the congressional uh, exemption? He said that uh, they have to enroll in Obamacare. He said, uh, but he neglected, he didn't tell us, you know, that they get a tremendous supplement to, yeah. you know, help uh, 
with the cost. And I, you know, if someone brought that to his attention, then I, then I said, uh, well, you know, the folks out here in the street, we don't get a supplement. Mm -hmm. But please, you know, the supplement and his salary and all that comes from our tax dollars. So, you know. Yeah, even their staffers get a supplement. Exactly, exactly. So That's our staff same. dollars. Part of our, our, our tax dollars. Well, yeah. it's the elites and the rest of us. Basically, let's go down. The ruling yeah. class. The, the ruling, ruling class, class and everybody and the working else. class. And, and, I the wish, working class. and I wish people could understand that. The ones who want Obamacare, they're making it. The ruling class has, you know, have certain things and us getting less. Mm -hmm. And he's exempted uh, businesses. Only the individual mandate he wants. The president does not have the authority to change the law by himself and delay the, the mandate on businesses. We want it defunded. We don't want to bomb care, period, oh, because those powers over our health were never a delegated power to the federal government. And I challenge anybody to show us where in the Constitution we, the people, gave the federal government that control. It's not there. This is totalitarian. Freedom is important. It's worth, worth fighting for, and you can fight it constitutionally, diplomatically, legally. You know, and and uh, what I was explained to by Senator Burr's staff is that we're in a minority party, therefore we can't do much, and that's just no excuse.